volunteering. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna get your seven question brand story. So now um, I'll type in here at the bottom. It asks, what is your business name? And it's Mango Publishing, correct? Yes, Mango Publishing. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, this is what happens with 3.5. I'm glad you see this. So it asks all the questions at once and you could answer them in one prompt, but that's what happens when you use 3.5 instead of four. Um, so we're going to do this again, and I'm going to put it to four because that it should work in four. And sometimes these don't work and I have to go back. If you answer all the questions at once, it'll still give you the result, but they just don't ask one by one. Okay. So in, in the idea of this story brand is you're making your customer the hero of the story and you are their guide. So in this, who is your hero? Who's your customer? Um, okay, so we have, um, we have several different personas. We have about seven personas because we have hundreds, uh, hundreds of books that we're catering to a lot of different readers. Um, but let's, okay, let's choose one of them. Yeah. yeah. So one of them is the creative homebody. And that is a crafty person who has a lots of uh, hobbies and loves to read, knit, cook, um, and just be very, very creative. Okay. And what problems are they facing that you're your products solve? Well, we have lots of different uh, books, but they, so it would be a different problem for each book, but um, it might be that they're looking for some um, healthy recipes that can be quick to, uh, to make for their family, for example. Um, that, that would be obviously for, for a cookbook. Um, so we can use that as, that as an example. Or new okay. ideas, new recipes, crafts, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and things that they can, things that they can uh, dive into in terms of hobbies, yeah. Okay. And this is slower, like this four is slower than 3.5, but it, it works better. Um, so okay. pretty fast. <laughs> What is your customer's desire? Um, what do they want to achieve? They want to achieve um, new, that, that they can create um, new things and they want to make, uh, make beautiful things and they want to kind of put their, put their crafts um, out there. Um, and, um, and yeah, have, have a lot of great things to do on their, on their spare time. Thinking, thinking. Yeah. All right, what is the call to action? What do you want them to do? Uh, we want them to buy the book uh, or maybe a few books. Buy a new book today. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the villain or what is standing in their way of getting the book? Uh, might be... Uh... Uh, well, getting the book from uh, uh, from us directly it might be shipping prices. It might be yeah, higher higher prices. Uh, it might be not not being able to decide uh, decide which one to get. Uh, not having enough reviews, for example. And I just totally typoed that and chat GPT doesn't care. It understands. <laughs> Love that. Um, what sends the person to go buy a book? What's the inciting incident? 
um that they that they probably see something on uh, on the pinterest for example mm. they see like a a cool sweater and they're like oh i want to make something like this or they see a lot of great recipes um and they get really inspired and then they want to come and or they see the the our author influencers for example and they see that oh they have a new book coming out let me let me go and buy this And what is the climax here? When is the moment when they overcome this obstacle and purchase the book? Might be when there's a discount, when they get some free bonus material um, offered, uh, or there's a bundle of some sort, um, or there's a video that showcases the, the book and they are sold with, uh, with spreads and and look inside. And this prompt will give you 10, it's crafting them right now, you get 10 headlines that you might wanna use, 10 different taglines that you can use. You could use these in ads. You can use them on your website. You can use them as email messages, like in the, you can put them up top. Then you get two 150 word elevator pitches. Hmm. And you get two 75 word pitches, which you can also use throughout your website, email, LinkedIn. And then once this is done populating, you can start to ask it to create other items for you. So you could ask it to create an email sequence based on um, unlock the power of creativity with Mango Publishing. You might ask them to create an email sequence that has five emails. The first and the fifth are sales emails. The middle three are informational emails. And then it has a background of the story of the person that you want to talk to. I've had it create an about us for me after doing this. Um, and so I have it do, I ask it different things. And then what you can do is you can share this. So I'm going to share this with you, with everybody in the chat, and then you can send it to anybody on your team. You're like, okay, here's the base of the information about our customer business. And now you can start asking it to create more copy for you. So I start with ours, like I start with our brand story and keep the conversation in one thread because ChatGPT learns mm. from that. And if you start everything with this brand story and voice, then you can have better results on your prompts. This and is great. Thank you so much, Nicole. And it's perfect because one of the one of the things I really wanted to really get out of this uh this masterclass was to write personalized emails and and things like that for our different personas. So this is perfect. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.